as we're in the heart of the business planning season, a couple of things that we're looking at is how do we increase our conversion rate of some of these internet buyer leads? And so I've been having a lot of conversations with some mega teams and some individual agents, and it just kind of boils down to taking a step back and looking at the process of how we can improve each one of those steps. So let's take a quick look now so that you can now plan for in 2021, increasing your conversion rates with those internet leads or any one of those lead sources. So let's dive into the process. So I've been having a lot of conversation. Let's just take the Zillow lead as an example. So I said, okay, so when you receive the phone call, and someone asked the, the buyer, hey, would you like to talk to a Zillow Premier agent? So you get that phone call and because the, they said yes, and here you are now on the phone. So the decision that we need to look at is, okay, what do you do during that call? And there's a couple different plays here. There's kind of the minimum standard, which is we all know we should probably try and book the showing appointment, right? That's kind of the general thing to do. Step two is those, well, what else could you do? And when I start talking about different questions, maybe some different scripts, some different strategies, one of the key things that I want to make sure you're all thinking about is I hear a lot of my um, agents say, well, there's so many people, they don't want to talk to me. And so there's a classic line that my father used to say in, in training, he'd say, if they're a pain in the butt up front, it only gets worse. And so here's what I want you to be thinking about. Your ideal customer is okay with you asking additional questions. Your ideal customer wants you to discuss different um, things about the community, about the property, about the process. See, what happens is I think a lot of agents are optimizing their script and strategy for the jerk client. And so the jerk client is in a hurry, doesn't want to answer your questions, just wants you to show them the property, really doesn't even care about really talking to a real estate agent, just wants access. And so you're adjusting your script for that person? No, 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 major mistake. So that's why I want to bring you back over. Let's take a look. If this was your perfect customer, the ideal customer, let's start there. So if they were someone who was now excited about seeing a property for the first time, has never really spoken to a real estate agent, doesn't have a realtor, and you know maybe hasn't bought a home in a long time and doesn't know anything about this area. If you knew that this person was that ideal customer, then what would you do? What questions would you ask? What things would you share, right? What would you offer to them on that conversation before you showed the home? Would you say, of course, is there any other properties? Would you, you know, say, hey, maybe we should get together, do a little Zoom. Maybe I can find you one or two more properties to, sh to show you. Love to share with you some of the most important insights that, you know, is happening in today's market. Has anyone taken some time to do that? See, the moment I get you out of not adjusting for the jerk and thinking about what you could do with the ideal customer, all of a sudden, now you're, the presentation becomes much more rich. And I want you to think as, as scripting as options. Right. So one of the most beautiful things that I ever heard about scripting is just a, a really good script. It's just a series of open ended questions and an open ended question is the start of a conversation. And so, you know, if I were to say, great, love to help you take a look at that property, set up the showing. Absolutely. Hey, quick question. How familiar are you with this particular community? Now, this is just the start of a conversation about what they know, what they don't, giving you an opportunity to elaborate. Hey, how much do you know about what's going on with today's real estate market? How much do you know? Well, we've heard, we know, we da, da, da. it's the start of a conversation that allows you to now share and to flex your muscles. Those are just two questions that create conversation. And those would be two options 
on that first initial call, okay? Now, let's take a look at what else can we do on that initial call. Your ideal customer, would they actually maybe prefer to maybe meet with you and do some buyer consultation to talk more about the market, you know, about what it takes to prepare, to be able to, to execute, to maybe look with you at some of the other off-market opportunities so they can see more than just one on this, op on this showing appointment? Would your ideal customer most likely be interested in some of those offers? The answer is yes. So stop optimizing for the jerk, right? And start optimizing for the ideal customer. Now, sure, your ideal customer may just want to go see this one. They may have been looking at property for you know, a couple months or six months, and this one really caught their attention. So they're enthusiastic about this particular property, about going and exploring this neighborhood. So of course, if this is something that they're saying they're pretty decisive about, absolutely great let's go take a look at that can't wait to meet with you and while we're there you know is there anything else that would you like me to address on the appointment so the bottom line is we need to make a decision about what are our best options for our ideal customer in that step one then what are, what are some of the best things that we could offer them to make it a better experience? How could we bring value to them after we finish the step one? And in between step one and step two of maybe showing the property, what can we do there? Could we share a video about our top tips? Could we share something, some information about what's going on with the real estate market? Could we share um, a buyer's guide or share a success, a testimonial of what we've recently done with another client similar to them? So what can we do in the in-between that from the first conversation into the second, into the the third step, which is actually showing up and meeting them there, that it actually is a better experience. And so, you know, if you had a video series on the top five buyer tips and the top ways to navigate this challenging market today, and, you know, here's how to buy and sell at the same time, here's how to get your offer accepted in this competitive environment, you know, here's the five things that you do to find off market opportunities. Here's the five most important things that you cover in a buyer consultation to make sure that you help your clients, you know, achieve, you know, a high, you know, uh, to improve the quality of their life and help them make a great, you know, financial decision. Here's the, you know, top uh, five most important things that you want to discuss with your lender so that you're hundred percent prepared financially to be able to secure a property in today's market. What can you provide between appointment set and showing up for the first time? Okay, that now by the time, imagine that they reviewed some of this information with you, then all of a sudden they show up and they're like, wow, thank you so much. We actually learned a lot from you. You know, we read the guide, we read the testimonial, we watched some of those videos, and here you are. See, what a different experience, right? Between, you know, hey, you, you know, optimizing for the jerk. Okay, you want to go see the property? Okay, I'll get, I'll get that set up. And then, you know, we then set the appointment up and then we just show up. They to have no experience of who we are, what we've been able to accomplish. We've not offered any advice. And so now they kind of just are using you as a door opener. And we got to be careful with that, you guys. Okay, so now on the appointment, right, what are some of the best practices there? A, your ideal customer, what is that next step for your ideal customer, right? Would you do a Zoom buyer consultation after that? Would you take them to coffee after that? Would you uh, try and book an appointment at your office to where you can go into a deeper dive about all the amazing things that you can do to help them in this buyer's journey? So you need to, going into the showing appointment, be thinking about what your ideal outcomes are. And then now, what are some of the minimum standards of some of the questions that you ask, um, some of the information that you would share, right? You know, maybe you share two or three things about the neighborhood that most people would know. Maybe you share uh, a couple examples of what a similar properly sold for, you know, and, and kind of what the timing of that is, 
or you maybe you know talk to the listing agent before you got to the appointment and asked a few questions so that you can share that information to the buyer you know so that they're like wow this agent is very useful this agent is providing a lot of unique content that i that i didn't experience from the last person that i went and looked at a property with see it's really what I see the difference between the, the people that convert at a very, very low level who are stressed out, who hate these things, and the ones that convert at a very high level is they thought through each step and really looked at what are the best practices per step. What are the best questions asked, conversations, how to prepare, what are the best bits of information that are the most useful to their ideal customer. Right. And then boom, they move them into a consultation or a next action step. And a good shout out to my great client in Texas. And it was so funny when she said, Hey, you know what? I just got off the phone, you know, yesterday with a, a Zillow lead. And for the first time, that Zillow lead said, Hey, I want to hire you as, as my realtor. The actual client asked her if she could, if she could be her realtor. And we've been working on all of these steps, right? And, and putting together a really nice plan. And what, what she said was, she said, it makes so much sense to me now. It was counterintuitive before because she was just running and showing and running and showing and hoping it all work out. But it started to make sense to her. She was like, you know what? As I put together much more of a clear plan, as I raised my standards, as I focused on the ideal customer, wow, the ideal customer appreciated everything I did and said, and basically they were like, would I want to hire you? See, I think this is such an important point. We're optimizing our script and our strategy for the jerk, or we're not taking enough time to think about how could we do better in each one of these steps? How can we make it a better experience for the customer? How can we position ourselves to be the authority and the expert, the person that they would absolutely want to hire. So just a little work that we need to do here. Take a look at each step. Start figuring out what you can do to level up your script, your skills, your strategy, the knowledge that you can share, and being someone who has a plan that you know is prepared so that the customer is like, wow, you're different. I'd like to work with you.